How's it going guys? This is Lovebit Gaming. We're back here with another episode of Borderlands, a pre-sequel. I'm here with Allie again. Yay! And I'm also here with Nathaniel. Oh my god. Yay! That is not his name. That is his <laughs> name now. That's what the internet oh that's god. what the internet has named him. What do you mean the internet has the, named him? The internet has named him Nathaniel. And we are back here, going back to Triton Fall Triton Flats apparently. You need to catch me up, because I didn't. Um, play the last couple ones. Well, what we did was we got rid of all your guns, oh. and we would just use guns that you picked up. This is why I don't trust you. And every time, all out. every I time, every time you. Chad picked what's, up a gun, he what used it. What the hell is this? That's the gun that we got. This is not okay. We got that together. I don't care. The last episode that you played, we got that gun. I don't gun. want that. I don't want. Whatever. Well, then change it. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what you're doing either. Team, thank you. Jeez. I feel so stupid right when I first start playing. Oh, you were so Just lucky when you, first you did start. not get rid of my pistol. I threw all you of them away. You would have been sleeping on the couch tonight. Sleeping okay. on the couch. While she's doing that, I'm going to do this shout out, guys, for uh, Crimson Bros. So, Crimson Bros, I'm going to leave a link to his channel in the description of this uh, description of this video. Go check him out. He's got some pretty cool content. Okay, there yeah. you go. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. Check it out. Do? What's up? Don't you have one more to do? Yeah, I'll do it later. Okay. Okay. Well, that yeah. was easy. That was easy. <laughs> <laughs> You're a disaster. What? What? Why did you call me a disaster? <laughs> I wasn't talking to you. Jeez Louise. Oh my gosh. It's fine. We're like, um, we're like, uh, oh man, what's that robot? He was a star of All My Circuits. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, short, uh, no. Short, no. Short, no. Short Calculon, circuit? it is Calculon. Calculon, that's right, Calculon. Calculon. He doesn't do second takes, we don't do second takes. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, that's right. Futurama. Yes, Chad, Futurama. Thanks, thanks you for catching up. For all those welcome, young kids out there. Welcome to the conversation. That, you know, Population <laughs> free. <laughs> okay. Okay. Can we so move on? yeah, I'm just waiting for you to switch your guns, I've, dude. I've been done. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, I gotta sell some guns. I was waiting for you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, let me sell. Me to get my shit together. Let me sell these guns really quick, and we so, can. So, um, are we on the right mission? Of course. Are we set? We're always on the right mission. Oh, God. I hate you. Okay. Do we not have... The mission we're doing right now is called A New Direction. We have to go to Secret Entrance. Do we not have uh, What's it yet? No, we haven't gotten to that point. Oh. Here. I'll, I'll gun. You can drive if you want. Yeah. First okay. On it? Yeah, it's, I'm oh, in it. Man. I'm already in it. I feel so stupid right now. Okay, so the reason why I don't know where we're going, but just follow the uh, follow the thing, follow the dot. The reason why oh, I, hate I wanted to include Nathaniel oh in this video as well was because um, today somebody was talking to me about Borderlands pre sequel, and they were asking me. Well, they said that they've only played oh, the first one, and they asked me if they should get Borderlands two or Borderlands pre sequel. And I was wondering what your guys' opinions on that were. Was pretty much which one's better, the pre-sequel or two? I, <clears throat> I, I personally believe you should start with two above three because two you, you right right now have more content available for it. Yeah, and has higher higher level caps and also because Borderlands, Borderlands 2 um, you don't have to deal with the uh, gravity and the oxygen okay. and if you're not very familiar with the Borderlands series if you if you only played the first one mm. jumping into the pre-sequel might seem a little, a, a little, I don't know, off, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Arr. 
two would be better to start with in general. Uh, that's just what I think. Uh, so, what's your opinion, Sally? Well, considering I've logged like twice as many hours as Chad, or whatever his name is now. Nathaniel. Yeah. Um, if I had my way, I would have started with this one. Because with I don't one? Because That's for sure. I think Borderlands 2 is the better game. Oh, exactly. And going do, from yeah. Borderlands 2 to this one was a lot harder. Yeah, I feel like it would have been better That's to I mean. start off with this one and play it and then it, um, go to the better game. But I really, Borderlands 2 is by far my favorite out of the two. Mm. So, I mean, I guess if you're gonna start, I would. S you can really start with either. Borderlands 2 is just a better game. Yeah. So, but it depends if you wanna go from. Like you said, the oxygen in the atmosphere trap is kinda hard to get used to uh. once you've gone, once you've played Borderlands 2. Uh. So Are you okay over there? Yeah, fine. Are you gonna die? I don't need no man's help. Okay, I'm oh, sorry. Shit, dude. Okay. Anyway, I would start with this one and then go to the better game. Yeah. No, that makes sense. <laughs> okay. Well. I don't know. All right. No, they're called opinions for reasons. What is your? I think yours is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> My opinion is my <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, my, yours is wrong and I hate you and you need to just shut up. My my opinion <laughs> is Borderlands 2 is a superior the superior game. Um I think just because when I first played Borderlands 2, I was excited. Um I thought it was awesome. Coming from the first one, it was way better. I mean, it was awesome. Um, and then, when I played this game, I was kind of disappointed. Because it didn't live up to what Borderlands 2 was. Maybe it's because it hasn't been out as long, because there's not as much DLC. You know? But even the core, the core game of Borderlands 2 was better. Like, mm -hmm. the story was better yeah, than this I agree. one. Um, the character. Yeah, go ahead. The characters in this game are. You know, I've, I've only played two. Um, so I can't really say about the other ones, but what I've seen from the other ones, they're not as good as the characters from Borderlands 2. I've played three now, three different characters. And I would prefer to be a siren from Borderlands 2. Be the Maya? <laughs> Yeah, by far. I would much rather yeah. be a siren than any of these characters. My, f um, my it's just better. My favorite character from one and two and the pre sequel is um, Gage. I don't so know who. I don't who Gage, is. Gage is the necromancer. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah, she was the uh, DLC. Yeah, I never played. Yeah, she her. was. She was from a DLC. So, Gage is my favorite, um, maybe because I played her the longest, but I, out of the normal characters, the, the core characters, um, Lilith was my favorite from the first Borderlands. See, I started playing, I didn't get through the first Borderlands, because I had started with Borderlands 2, and I went yeah. back to Borderlands 1, and I was yeah. just pissed because the quality was not yeah, it, it's kind of it's kind of hard to go backwards. That's why I think you should start with this one, because this one so is not nearly as good. And yeah. then that yeah. way you end with a game thing, but there are that makes you feel good about the series. You, yes. you know? Like, yeah. I still okay. like this series, and I will definitely be buying the next one and the next one. The eye, but it's going to be But you know, like, this one doesn't make me nearly as excited as Borderlands 2 did. Yeah. Like, when, when I heard this game was coming out, um, I thought it was pretty cool. You know, the thing that bugged me the biggest about this game was um, the oxygen. Mm -hmm. I thought that was kind of stupid. I didn't like it. And then when I, when I actually played it, um, it wasn't that bad, but it's still kind of annoying. 
thing that, um, Bob. Yeah, that's right. The thing that bothers me the most about uh, this game is the game speed and the movement speed. Yeah, you're especially with the sniper, right? Yeah. Um, that didn't happen in the second Borderlands or the first Borderlands. Like, I don't know why they, they changed that. It's really odd. But it just drives me freaking nuts. I <clears throat> my favorite character from all the Borderlands series that I've played would have to be um, between uh, the man of the last one. Yeah, yeah. I enjoyed playing Aston in Borderlands 2, and I played that character all the way through all the all the different skill trees, and I would always respec to try different combinations of the skill trees, and I always enjoyed playing whatever skill tree I was playing. And I thought having his, his dual historic uh, was definitely a big plus. Borderlands 2, you have a lot more swarms than oh, yeah. 1 and in the preseason. Oh, yeah, that's, you get that's a lot more cool. just enemies coming at you at once. Yeah, that's, whether, that's definitely true. Whether it's just whatever aliens are around you or creatures. Yeah. The um, there, there's a lot more um, creatures in Borderlands 2 and 1 than yeah. there is in this game. There's a sniper. <clears throat> but as far as DLC goes, my favorite character that I played through was definitely Craig. I thought Craig was just a ton of fun to play through because he his 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 skill trees are very hard to get to get to to play through because every single skill tree either kills you, hurts you, or hurts you other teammates around you, but his actual skill power is, I think, is very overpowering, because it's basically like you go into like a berserk mode with a buzzsaw and just chop everything down, which I thought was really cool, and you can throw it, which is over the top. As far as like weapon skill, he's really only good with like rifles or SMGs, <laughs> so... He sucks with pistols and he sucks with everything else. Yeah. But, uh, so yeah, those are my my two preferred characters. I'm um, trying to heal you, Ali, but you can't. Yeah, sorry. Although I I do enjoy playing as Claptrap in the pre-sequel. I'm not enjoying playing as uh, because of how random his ability. Yeah. I picked Claptrap to try and just try something new, and I'm like. I would much rather be playing Nisha. Well, have you tried Wilhelm? Uh, yeah, I wasn't a big fan of Wilhelm, but he's not terrible. I I would say Nisha, and then Jack, and then probably Akina, and then Wilhelm, then Claptrap. Um, I, I played Athena the most. That's probably why I like her the most. Um... This, the, the Baroness is okay. I don't have a lot of her skills up, but I feel like once I get more of her skills, um, I'll like her more. But at this point, I would say probably Athena is still my favorite. I want to try Wilhelm, though. After I do the Baroness, I want to make a Wilhelm character. <coughs> Um, right? I think that she says a lot of cool shit and funny stuff. Like, she's pretty funny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think right now, my favorite 
character that I'm playing currently is Jack's double ganger. Double ganger? Yes. And I I am falling in love with that character because oh, his ability weird. his his dreamy eyes. Is, yeah. <laughs> yes, his 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 handsomeness is just so overpowering. Huh? But his ability is very unique because he spawns multiples of, of himself and his multiples carry his ability over. And eventually you can make them into badass spawns. Exactly. So hopefully I'll be able to get my character over and we can play through that a little bit and check out that that action. Probably end up bringing my or starting a new character. You're I don't know. Just yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. I mean, I feel like. Uh, I was gonna say. Oh yeah. So out of all of the uh, second Borderland. Characters, Gage was my favorite because she was so overpowered. Like, um, you could get her her stacks, her anarchy stacks. You can get them up so high. Like I remember, I used to get mine in the four hundreds, and it would just be insane. Like, wasn't badass outlaw was. But the problem with Gage was um, she was only really good. Like once you got your anarchy up that high, she was only really good for certain weapons and shotguns mostly. Well, you were having the hardest time because you got rid of your accuracy, right? Like yeah, so you had zero accuracy. Yeah, but that's that's how it worked. Is that it gave you four hundred percent. Damage, but it minus 400% accuracy. So, uh, I probably will. Nah, I won't. Okay. But um, I mean, I really liked it. But another problem I had with her was that in order for you to get your anarchy up like that, you had to like go to a level. You had to get a single shot shotgun and go to a level where there is a bunch of spawns of really low level things and just start going through and killing all of them. And then, you know, you can get through a level with like maybe 60 anarchy, then you have to go to another level, get 60 more, go to another level, get 60 more. You had to do that every time you started the game. That's what bothered me a lot about her. Yeah. So guys, we're gonna have to end this episode here. Um, Next episode, we will continue on our way. And not be so boring. And not hopefully. be so boring, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. That makes me feel a lot better. I'm All right. Saying, this was... See you later, guys.